Fitzgerald needed to make her own save the date invitations for her wedding, she never dreamed it would launch a lifestyle brand. Well, I just decided to make our save the dates on our, you know, four in one printer in our guest room and had no idea what I was doing, but I made them out of watercolor because that was always a medium that I enjoyed. By the time our wedding came about, I had clients and was doing other people's weddings and then that turned into a, a nice business for a few years. Fast forward, 16 years later, Sarah and her husband, Miles O'Brien, own and operate Sarah Fitz Studio in York, Maine. That's um, sort of our thing, is taking something that's really simple that you might see on a daily basis and not, you know, think twice about and celebrating it and making it, making it into something really special. Sarah grew up in New Hampshire, skiing at Waterville Valley, where her father lives. But summer is really her favorite season. Where it's expected for us to have the nautical coastal style, which I love, because that's what inspires me. From stationery to pajamas, sheets, and the always popular wallpaper designs, Sarah is collaborating with some big name retailers. She will never forget the first moment she saw her sheets on display at L.L. Bean in Freeport. And I remember standing there being like, this is wild. This isn't normal. This is really cool. So, did you want to stand yeah. there and say to the customers, this, this is mine. Oh my God, I know, That's it's hard. I did, I did stand there and take some pictures. In addition to L.L. Bean, you can find Sarah's designs on sea bags of Maine and on blankets made by Chappie Wrap of New England. Wallpaper and more collaborations on the way. Our wholesale line is actually... Uh, quite fun and it's taken off in the last few years quite a bit um, so we ship that all over the country and I think what's what's cool about our gift wrap is it's not only holiday or seasonally focused it's everyday focused so it has some coastal designs and we have some um, you know more country designs it's it's fun to mix and match it's, it's the coolest feeling it's the nicest feeling to see our wallpaper in people's homes and I love when they share pictures with me it's it's just really great to see it in different spaces. That's special. And if a farmhouse can be beachy, Sarah has that covered. She's expanding her designs from coastal chic to farmhouse flair. We did a lot of strawberries and we have a really sweet cow and some insects and some butterflies. And so that's been a neat deviation too. And I kind of in my mind think, okay, well this is reflective of the coastal farm that I would like one day, right? The big farm on the ocean. So we'll work, <laughs> we'll work toward that, but it's kind of like blending those two worlds together. What started as a need for an invitation has turned into a lifestyle brand that keeps growing. It's kind of what it's all about for me is making people happy and getting into their homes. And I don't know, I love it. is inspired by New Hampshire's coastline. The coastline of New England coastline is so rocky and it's full of texture and that's always so inspiring. Um, so a lot of my pieces that I use with rope are woven and I like having that texture into my pieces as well as the seashells. So yeah, absolutely. I get inspired all the time by, by the seacoast for sure. What started as a hobby some years ago has now turned into a business called Socialite. Rula Crafts, plant holders, coasters and jewelry baskets and clothing. She's always had a passion for sewing. It did start with clothes, which I think was really helpful because the pattern making really helped me understand just the sequence of things and how to create a pattern um, for what I do now. Rula's Seacoast home is a showroom for her work. Recognize a pattern with her color scheme? If you click around my home, everything is tan, white, or blue. It's like my favorite colorway. I like to call it modern coastal because I try to have a coastal vibe, but I really like also modern, um, a little trendy. So I, I'm calling it modern coastal. Blue is like always the most popular color because um, it's really coastal, navy blue in particular. 
So it's using either a fabric or like rope um, and creating like a three-dimensional art um, with it. So I'm literally taking a piece of rope and I'm wrapping it and I call it molding it on my sewing machine because I, I can create different shapes with it because it's soft enough to sew but it's firm enough that you can hold its shape. At the suggestion of a friend, Rula began using seashells to adorn her work. My husband, he's always so supportive. He started drilling seashells for me. And so I actually sewed them on my first bag and I said, well, there's something missing. I feel like they need to be colorful and vibrant. And so I'd never painted a seashell before and then I, I just had an act for so then I started painting seashells. Rula's full-time job is in IT, so creating beachy designs is very different than her day job. But one day she hopes to spend more time doing. It's not gonna stop at seashells. Who knows what I'll try next. It's been really cool to just see people wearing the things I make or have things that I made in their homes. Um, so it's really, I'm really excited and I'm very grateful for all of the opportunities and everything that I've experienced in the last six years that I've been doing this as a business. Mm -hmm.